Hello everyone, if you don't know me already, I'm Tara the Dance Doctor, welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, I'm going to be giving you some practice drills for creating beautiful leg lines and we are going to be using them with a wall to kind of help us work also on our connection forward with our partner and how we can kind of use our partner to help us create the most beautiful leg lines and shapes possible. So let's get right into it. Do you want to be able to do this? And this? And even this. Well, then you need to do this. And this. And even this. My 21 day Train Like a Dancer course gives you all the tools you need to transform into the dancer you've always wanted to be. Try the first three days free and see why dancers from all over the world are saying things like this, and this, and even this. Start training like a dancer today and unlock your true dancing potential. What are you waiting for? You're just going to need two things for this lesson, a wall to dance with and your highest pair of dancing heels. Part of the challenge in creating leg lines um, is we can do it in flat feet or even in practice shoes, but then once we put heels on, um, we're so off balance and, and not used to um, being up that high and being forward so much that we're then not able to perform um, the techniques properly. So I do want you to do this lesson with heels on and if you're looking for a brand of heels that is as comfortable as they are beautiful look no further yami dance shoes has got you they have a little pillow under the ball of your foot so you don't have to worry about sore swollen feet anymore which i had just gotten used to and accepted as a fact of life as a competitive dancer from a young age but I just discovered Yami and I'm so glad that I did because I can wear these heels for an extended period of time without getting those cramps in my feet. I do have tendonitis in um, like around the ball of my foot, which always makes it difficult for me to stand and dance in heels for a long time. But I feel so comfortable in these because of that little cushion that's under the ball of my foot. So um, if you are looking for a wonderful, and comfortable dance heel, you can use my code dancedoc10 at yamishoes.com. You will not regret it, okay? So let's get right into this first drill. I'll show you from behind first and then I'll do it from the side. So we're gonna put our hands on the wall. Actually, this is why I was on this side, I just remembered. We're gonna put our hands on the wall around the height of our elbow if we're just letting our arms kind of drop to our side. Put your hands on the wall and then I'm going to have you just bring your torso toward your hands, which is then going to have your elbows bend a little bit, almost like you're doing a push-up against the wall, keeping your core nice and engaged so you're not going like this. I'm actually putting a bit of pressure into my hands, a little dance push-up. This is going to be our position for the duration of this video because this is going to help us practice what it's like to actually connect to our partner while we do these types of movements, okay? So our first movement from this dance push-up position is we're gonna go start with our foot behind us, both legs nice and straight, pointing that toe as much as I can. That's another thing I love about these shoes. They're super flexible. And I'm going to go in and out and in and out. And I'm going to keep my 
dance push up here, I want to make sure that I don't change my position as I change my leg. Part of creating beautiful leg lines is actually isolating the leg from the hip socket or from the knee um, in order to create some really nice isolations. And if you are moving your whole body, you don't get the full effect of that, okay? So I go into my dance push-up. I'm going to go back in, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go out to the side. Out, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go forward. One, two, keeping my torso forward, three, four. So if you are too close to the wall, when you do your push-up, you won't be able to extend your legs. So I do want you, I'm like maybe a foot, foot and a half away from the wall so that I can extend my leg. If you have longer legs than I do, which you probably do, because <laughs> I've got pretty short legs, you can take your hips back a little bit in order to make room for your leg, okay? Why are we doing this drill? We're practicing going out in any position, keeping the big toe on the ground so you've got resistance against the floor, and then coming back to this position with our ankles together, which is just training our body that these are positions that we wanna create. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Back, in, keeping your chest forward towards your hands, and out. Side, two, three, four, and forward. Keeping that toe on the ground, two, three, four. Keeping your standing leg nice and solid and firm and straight, yeah? So another thing about creating leg lines is I don't wanna allow my action leg to affect my standing leg. I want to keep this nice and solid as I bend and straighten and move my action leg in different directions, okay? So now we're going to do that first drill with music. second drill is going to be switching the ankles. So again, I'm going to go into my dance push-up. I've got my ankles coming together. Really important that I'm not with my toes together. Anytime a dance teacher says put your feet together, what they're talking about are your ankles. So we've got a little bit of turnout in our, in, at the toes, and we're going to bend one knee and keep the ankles together as if I've got something a hundred dollar bill between my ankles and I'm not gonna let it go okay switch and switch and one two three four and slow and slow and one two three four and slow and slow and one two three four okay making sure that I'm really um, taking the knee straight forward when I do this, I'm not doing that because, again, that brings my toes together and I want my ankles together. So even though the knee, the, the thigh is angling in, my knee is not. My kneecap is still facing forward and my ankles are together as I switch, okay? So now let's practice that second one with music.
moving on to our third exercise, the reason you're all here, the inside swivel. So this is one of the most beautiful movements, I think, um, when we're talking about creating leg lines and kind of like optical illusions when we're dancing, and so few people know how to do it correctly. So I'm gonna break it down for you. So an inside swivel is this movement, step, swivel, step, swivel, step, swivel, okay? So um, the contact with the wall here is gonna get a little bit more difficult, um, but it's actually important that we maintain it, and I'm gonna explain why. So when I step, again, I've got my push up toward, toward my partner, I'm gonna step, and my hips and my feet are twisting, but part of what creates this, the beauty of this step is keeping my chest with my partner. Now, I am going to keep this foot behind me as I rotate. So this is creating like a protractor type movement. Yeah, I'm gonna move this up because I keep hitting it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to swivel two straight legs and I'm maintaining the proximity between my feet as I swivel. So I step, swivel, and then I'm going to bring this back leg through, bending the knee, straightening it, transferring my weight, and then I do the same thing on the other side. And hopefully you have a wider wall than I do because it's a bit tricky. <laughs> Sometimes you might have to move your hands a bit. Step protractor, bend the knee, extend, step, protractor, bend the knee, extend, okay? So do this one nice and slow, really feeling all of the parts of it, and then once you get it, you can start to speed it up and adorn it um, how you'd like. But that's really everything you need to know to create a beautiful, inside swivel, okay? So now we're gonna practice that one nice and slow with music. inside swivel now we do have to do the outside swivel inside of course just refers to I'm rotating in the direction of my standing leg outside is I'm rotating away from my standing leg so outside swivels look like this okay so what am I doing I'm going again push up toward my wall partner. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotate, keeping this my ankles together, and one knee straight and one knee bent. Now, I'm going to extend the bent knee, transfer my weight onto it, I am a little too close, bring this other knee in, swivel, extend, transfer my weight, bring the ankles together swivel with the ankles together, extend, step, swivel, sorry, gather, swivel, extend, step, gather, swivel, extend, step, gather, swivel, extend, step, gather, swivel, extend, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and now, when I gather and swivel, I'm also settling my hip so that my hip is angling down 
toward my bent knee, okay? So when I step here, I'm in neutral. I'm gonna gather, I'm gonna swivel, and now my hips are angled down to the left. I'm gonna keep my hips there as I extend, and then when I transfer my weight, I'm coming back into neutral. Gather, now I'm angling my hips to the right, extend, and really important that you keep your hips angled as you extend. A common mistake here is people will be good here, and then when they extend, they come back into neutral. And then you lose the length that you're creating in your leg. Because when I'm here, my leg looks shorter than when I'm here. Yeah, it's just an optical illusion that's created by settling that hip. Okay, um, so we're gonna practice this one slowly as well with all of its four parts now with music. drill is just to kind of help us um, use the two legs together and maintain a nice malleability in the action leg swinging from the hip. So we're going to go, um, starting with the leg out, we're going to go in, out, in, out, in, out. Sorry, I keep using my bar. It's just so handy. In and out, in, in, and out. Okay? So what we're doing here is I'm going to rotate, I'm going to swivel on my right, because that's my standing leg in this moment, and as I do that, I'm going to allow that to have me bring my left knee in, I'm going to extend my left leg, and then I'm going to rotate on my right and extend in the other direction, and rotate, and rotate, and rotate, and swing, and swing, and swing. And go ahead and try and keep your big toe on the ground so you can get a nice amount of resistance against the floor. So let's do that on the other side. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay? So this is our last drill. Let's try that one now with music. a lot of information and talking in this video and for that reason I have created a little practice routine for you including all of the movements so that if you want to repeat um, these movements and you want to skip all the talking you can just um, use the timestamps to skip ahead to the practice routine with music and then hopefully you can incorporate this into your daily dance practice okay so we are going to go one two, three, and switch. One, two, three, and switch. And then we're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, 
three, swivel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then you could start over from the beginning, okay? So let's just practice that one more time, and then we will do it with music. So do our push-up, shoulders down. We're going one and to side and forward and switch the ankles. Back and side and forward and switch. We go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and swivel, and two, and three, and maybe on this one, take a slightly smaller step, four, because we're gonna reverse it, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, step, and one, two, three, four. All right, now let's try the practice routine with music. for joining me for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson and this is like the kind of information that you've been looking for and you feel so excited about it, I can't recommend enough my Patreon page, patreon.com slash dance doctor. If you loved this lesson, you will love all the classes that I have on there because I really delve into a specific topic and give you all the information that you need to know about that given topic, including turns, how to be a better follower, things all social dancers should know, um, how to do torso circles, how to undulate, which means doing body rolls, all of the things that I know all dancers struggle with, arm movements, there's several different lessons about creating natural fluid arm movements on there, and those are just to name a few. Um, and I also offer 45 minute dance workouts done to popular music on there, as well as a weekly salsa lesson. So it's a great value, it's only $10 a month, you get nine 
classes a month. Um, and again, if you loved this video, you will definitely love my Patreon membership. So check that out, patreon.com slash dance doctor. Remember, practice makes progress. And until next time, keep dancing.